Dr. Arthur D. Kemp, The Hammond Doc. In this video, I'm going to be working on a project wherein I will take a 26-1 kit that is commonly used to connect a Leslie 147 speaker system to a Hammond A100 organ or A100 series of organs and I will convert that kit or I will set that 26-1 uh, kit or box up to allow me to temporarily connect a Leslie 147 Leslie system to a Hammond B3 or Hammond C3 organ. And uh, now what this will do is it will allow me to quickly uh, connect the Leslie uh, speaker system uh, in a wherever it is in a church or in a home or in a, whatever the venue is that I need to connect the 147 wherever it's located uh, to a, a Hammond B3 or C3 organ in order to check it out, to try it out, to evaluate the 147 or to check out the organ and um, before doing a permanent um, connecting of the Leslie 147 to a to a Hammond organ. So this is uh, this kit will be used primarily for uh, evaluation purposes of either the Hammond organ or the Leslie or of course both together the system. Now um, I have the components that I need uh, here or at my station. Um, I'm using my motor station today. My uh, uh, Leslie amplifier set uh, station is over is over there. But uh, sometimes I like to sit here at my uh, motor station and uh, do certain kinds of work, uh, especially when it involves some of the more heavy duty work like like drilling in in this. Uh, on this project I'll be using I'll be using the drill. So let me show you what I have. Alright. We have here a 26-1 kit. Let me let's get started. I uh, have a 26 1 kit that I'll be using for the project. See right here 26 1 connector. And um, it's a pretty decent looking one. Again, by just cleaning it up because this is what I'm going to be using. So let's get it. Travel with me. Now, okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this because I, I don't I don't need this. Now, I've already removed the back here, and and I'll go through this 
and this because this is my wiring. Hold on to that because I'll need to put a 5 amp fuse into here. I'll do that later. For right now, okay, so I have a 5 pin amp and all connector. Oh, there's some other tape. That can be used for this. Um, I saw someone use some silver tape. So I may go and find some of that at some point. Go ahead and move this over here a little bit. All right, so I just covered that up is what I was doing because I will not need that. Um, this is what I'll be using. It's this and this. Next. is to bring over my super vice right now.
I may have to do it like this. Okay. Um, let's see. In order to make that work, Me to have this is another unit with a back. This is a back side of this, so because I need to hold that steady. Sure, I'm not crushing that. I don't want to crush that. But that's all I need, really. I need to lift that up. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm using a one fourth bit, one fourth side bit, and what I'll be doing is drilling a hole through here in order to place a grommet. Use, I'm going to use this grommet and I'll put it in there. So that I'll be able to run my my wires. All right, move it out of the way. Just before I get started. I'll put on my safety glasses. Yes, indeed. I've already identified the, where I want the hole to be drilled in. Okay, 
I have another bit I'm going to try. I have another bit that I'm going to try with this. Let me go and I'll come back um, with a different bit that I have. Uh, I need to go and retrieve that bit. And uh, I'll be right back. All right. I found the bits, but that's not the one that I want. It didn't have the one that I wanted in. Might have it. 